So what caused this? That's where things get controversial. For decades, the mainstream scientific explanation was something called the meltwater pulse hypothesis. And honestly, it's pretty elegant. Here's how it works. During the Ice Age, there was this massive ice sheet covering Canada called the Laurentide Ice Sheet. We're talking millions of cubic miles of ice. And as it melted, all that water had to go somewhere. Most of it was draining south through the Mississippi River into the Gulf of Mexico. But here's where it gets interesting. There was this giant ice dam holding back an enormous lake called Lake Agassiz. This wasn't just any lake. At its peak, it contained more water than all the current Great Lakes combined. The theory says that around 2,800 years ago, this ice dam catastrophically failed. Billions of gallons of fresh water suddenly rushed into the North Atlantic Ocean. And this wasn't just any water. It was cold, fresh, glacial meltwater. Now why does this matter? Because of something called the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation. Basically, the ocean's conveyor belt. This current brings warm water from the tropics up to the North Atlantic, keeping Europe and North America relatively warm. But this current depends on differences in water density. Salt water is denser than fresh water. So when you suddenly dump a massive amount of fresh water into the North Atlantic, you essentially shut down the conveyor belt. No warm current, no warm climate. Europe and North America plunge into a deep freeze. The hypothesis explains the Younger Dryas perfectly. Case closed, right? 